Hi and welcome to the Motion Off Movement. Uh, my name is Florian. I'm a Motion Off uh, instructor trainer uh, who specializes in the static apnea discipline with a personal record of 10 and a half minutes. And today I'm going to share a really good uh, morning routine to develop your breath hold. So first of all, uh, the breath hold we can divide it in uh, three parts. Uh, the easy phase where you feel very comfortable, you have a very light CO2 buildup and low contraction. And then you have an intermediate phase where you feel a little bit less comfortable and then you have a medium amount of a CO2 buildup uh, and probably soft contractions or you can feel your breathing reflex. And then you have a hard phase uh, which is not comfortable and high amount of CO2 is being built up and you have a very strong breathing reflex, strong contractions. Okay, so to be uh, able to develop your breast hold, you want to have a routine which uh, train each phase of a static breast hold, okay? So uh, the cycle that I created for you today is a 12 day cycle. Uh, you're basically doing three days of exercise to work on your phase one, the easy phase, three days to work on phase two, the intermediate phase, and then three more days to work on phase three, the half phase. Between each three days, you have one day off. So the first three days of this uh, cycle, uh, you're gonna do a relaxation table. So it's six breaths hold with approximately two minutes of uh, interval. Uh, during, this, during each breath hold, you're gonna try to hold your breath until discomfort plus 30 seconds approximately. Okay. And the idea is to basically breast hold after breast hold, extend the relaxation time and feeling more comfortable. Okay. You can play with breathing a little bit. Okay. So in static, it is okay to breathe slightly deeper or slightly faster. Okay. So you can play a little bit with your breathing to see what would be working uh, the best. Okay. You can also play with packing if, you're, if you have learned packing already you can practice with uh, different amount of packing and see what working best to extend the phase one of your breast hold. Okay, so you're gonna do three days like this. Uh, what I would recommend is uh, uh, to do it as soon as you wake up, you can go uh, to the toilet and maybe uh, drink a glass of water to make sure you're not dehydrated and to make sure also you don't wanna pee during your training. And then you basically go back to bed and then start your morning routine. Uh, this is how I do it almost every day and that's been working uh, fantastic so far. Okay. During this phase one, you can also uh, try to do as much stretching as possible. It will really help getting more relaxed and increasing the comfort during the breast hold. Uh, what I would recommend during phase one is to do, for example, the motion of breathing gymnastics, which you can find in uh, the base training on the Motion of Community website. Moving on now to the next three days after your day off to phase two, where you're gonna work on the intermediate phase of your breast hole, the one with soft contraction, okay? So the table to work on this is gonna be a 60 second CO2 table. So you're gonna hold your breath again six times, okay? And in between each breast hole, this time you will have only 60 seconds to recover. Okay. During each breast hold, you need to increase the time, the time by a little bit. So let's say I start with one minute breast hold. I will have 60 seconds to recover. And then I will add 20 seconds to 30 seconds for the next one. And the one after that, etc. till the end of the table. Okay, so this breast hold basically uh, start to engage a little bit more discomfort. And then you start building up a bit more CO2 and it's really, really close to the sensations that you will feel during a max breath hold uh, in the first part of the contraction phase. Uh, during this uh, phase uh, two, what I would recommend in terms of stretching would be to focus more on full long stretching. So a little bit more uh, pressure into the lungs than the stretching which you will use during phase one. Uh, after that, you're going to work on your phase three, the hard part of the breast hold, the last phase. For that, you're going to do two breast holds only in the morning, as soon as you wake up. You're going to do one warm up, 
it can be a hard warm-up it can be a soft warm-up you have to test both options you're going to take as much time as you want to recover and then you're going to do one max attempt when i say one max attempt try to apply the 90 percent rule uh, which is like 90% effort, basically, that's what I mean. So you're always finishing your max attempt with the feeling that you still have 20 seconds in the tank. And in very rare occasion, when you're very curious to know your full abilities, then you go all the way, but in very rare occasions. And that will finish the 12 day cycle, uh, where you will work basically on the three different phases of the breast holds, and that will result in a, a, a really good improvement in your relaxation and your CO2 tolerance and hopefully uh, you will get higher numbers.